Hi, in this um, beginner's tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of how to get started with Loquiz. First thing you see when starting with Loquiz is the dashboard. So the dashboard has the same video here that you are already watching. It has one sample game that you can start by installing Loquiz on your mobile device and scanning the QR code even from the screen. And then it has some options to start creating new games, either from scratch or from the template. Up here you have the menus. On the right corner there is a user menu, so you can change your user settings and then account settings. And then there is a help menu that uh, will open the help base right inside the Loquiz creator, so you can search for your help uh, subjects if needed. Then there is a tasks menu and the tasks menu will show all the tasks that are available to you to use in your games. Now you have just started and you have not created any tasks yet but still you have 400 tasks in your um, account and this is coming from collection. We have a public library that is available for every user that hosts over 400 uh, tasks in English and you can freely use them in your games as such or also copy them into your account and change and modify them as needed. Also translate if you want to. And you can also create new tasks from that menu here. Then the next step are the templates. And the templates uh, host um, templates for your games. So uh, you can start a new game from scratch without using any template. You can create your own templates where you can base your future games on or you can use some of the free templates that are available in um, Loquiz Creator. So these are created mainly by uh, Loquiz stuff. They are free to use, you can translate them, you can modify them as you wish and they are in English all. So um, this might be a very good ste first step for you to create your first games and also get ideas how the games are created. And then there are some paid templates and paid templates are much more complicated so they need to be purchased from the actual game creator within the quiz. And then there are special tools that will allow you to create special types of games really quickly and these are not populated with tasks. All the paid templates and also all the free templates are actually populated with the tasks so you might get additional tasks on your account as well if you use any of those templates. And then um, the next menu is my games that will uh, host the games you have created and when you are just starting you will probably only see one game here that we have created for you already. You can freely delete it or you can uh, modify it or you can create your own game as you wish. So uh, let's get uh, create a new game from scratch. That means that uh, it's empty and we need to build everything. Um, first step always is to add tasks to your game. You can do it later as well but you cannot uh, build rules before you have added tasks so you need to add tasks. You have not probably created any tasks yet but as I said you have a uh, collection available that you can use and you can also uh, search for different kind of um, uh, tasks that you want to use in your game. So we're just gonna uh, pick four or th um, chemistry questions and add them to our game. So also please note that for the trial you only have um, 10 uh, tasks uh, limit in a game and if you have a, uh, a paid package then of course this limit goes away. Now the second step is always to create rules and the rule creating uh, window is actually composed of three windows. Uh, first off, down here you have the same tasks that you already added to the game and you see there are no locations to those tasks because they are general tasks. If the tasks would be with locations they would uh, show here as well. The next window is the rules window and the rules window then uh, holds all the rules that you uh, want to create for your game. So uh, there are actions that you can add. So actions are show on map, show in list, uh, open right away. And also there is an additional um, action that is not visible here, but show on playground. This is more for advanced game building. We are not going to cover it here, but these are basically the actions that you can use. Then there are logic. 
the logic is basically that sets kind of condition when some action is taken and some of the logic is usable for you these are the blue boxes and some are, of them are grayed out so you can't use them in the trial version of the uh, software and then there are task blocks there is a block created for each task and there is also a block created for all the tasks so what do we want to do today is that we want to create a game that uh, will show all the tasks to the player on a map and when the player goes to the location then uh, the map uh, the task will open and uh, for that we actually need to first to uh, put those tasks onto the map and for that what we will do is that we'll choose the action show on map we don't need to use any logic because you know we are not going to use when then we just want the tasks on a map from the very beginning so we just can use the action um, block by themselves and we need to fill the action block with something so we are going to use all tasks so what this does now is that it will show all tasks on a map and please note that now you can assign locations to the tasks okay so um, we just click on a map and the locations are uh, assigned in the order that they are here. Please note that every task has a radius and the radius can be changed uh, here as well and the radius is actual area where the task will be activated. Please do not use under 10 meters if it's not very important and usually try to use bigger if the game allows it then you can have the players can have easier activation of the tasks. Now that is actually a uh, playable game now. We have a rule set that says, okay, show all tasks on the map, and when all tasks are finished, then finish the game. And this finish block is uh, pre-created for you, but you can, of course, uh, remove it and create some other, other kind of condition for the finish. And now the third step in game um, creation is just the configuration screen. So you can game, uh, give it a title, you can give it an intro message, you can give uh, the game a finish message, you can decide in what language the game is. You can create your own languages if needed as well with a paid package. And uh, you can set some other uh, options as well. Now, it's important that the game that you want to play is open. And for the trial package, you can only have one game open at a time. So please uh, observe that. And username and password, you can set them, but they need to be unique. So some of the usernames and passwords might be um, taken already. When you save the game, you will get a uh, screen that will also give you the QR code to start the game. So now what you can do is that you can open Loquiz application on your phone and scan this QR code with the Loquiz application or type in the username and password and start the game. Now when people have played the game, what you also want to do is that you want to see the results. We have the results page that is um, accessible from uh, uh, this link here. So when we go to the start page, no team has played yet, so we don't have the standings. But what you can do is that you can see the answers and uh, questions. You can also download the answers and questions, and you can also download the standings. If there are photos made in your game, the photos and videos will be shown here. Uh, you will see the map, and also if you have uh, activated the uh, tracking you would see the team tracks here as well and if you have activated chat in your game the chat uh, is here as well and that's uh, all there is to it thanks